So if you've been watching me for a while now, you think you know me. But I'm gonna try to put together a list of 10 things you probably don't know about me. Let's give it a shot. So first up on the list is, I actually wrote down a list and I forgot it. <laughs> that, that's not the first thing, that's just typical me, right? Make a list so you don't forget, but then you forget the list. scars one right here and then one on the back of my head this one happened whenever I was a small child I was up on a slide saw the infamous NC Stoney pulling in my dad tried to run down the step slip seven stitches later got this bad boy well on the back of the head I was also younger uh, my brother and I were out playing on the ice slipped went back smacked my head on the corner of the bricks that one got staples I has four staples they didn't even numb it <laughs> I'm so awesome <laughs> two I actually have a master's degree in information security. I don't really use it, but I got one. <laughs> Three, I didn't even really know how to drive a, a manual transmission. Uh, my wife actually taught me how to drive one, but we were dating at the time, but she's the one that taught me how to drive one. And the first car that I bought myself was a manual transmission. That's a little embarrassing, I guess. Not really, no. Nah. This is number four. Also, my dream job. Dream job is a marine biologist. Not gonna happen unless you can be a marine biologist and the office I don't know I don't know how that works that's why I'm not one <laughs> big five I've broken my nose twice the first time was at a concert and one of my friends kind of elbowed me right in, the, right in the nose didn't get that one fixed second time was actually my brother we were in a mosh pit and uh, he clocked me right on the side of the nose that one I had to have surgery to get fixed and funny thing is my mom and dad didn't know that my brother was the one that did it until almost 10 years later and my wife is the one that told him six I actually didn't really care for this city that much, High Point, until I started working here. I was more of a Greensboro guy, and then I started working here, and yeah, it's a pretty cool city. I like it. What am I on? Seven? Eight? Seven? 78? Seven. Uh, back when I had hair, I actually had a flat top for like majority of my life, probably until I was like 18. I know, it was Arnold Schwarzenegger and the Predator. How do you, how do you not get inspired? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Number eight. I actually used to own a boat. For some reason, I had a boat. It was fun. It was a lot of, a lot of fun for a lot of years. And then I sold it. Number nine, I uh, may not be a surprise, but I have a vast Game Boy collection. I like to take them and fix them, mod them, put backlight screens on them. You know, cool stuff, right? Cool? Yeah, it's cool. And number 10, also not a surprise, I was in marching band in high school. <laughs> I played the trumpet for a couple years and then I switched to the mellophone which is like a marching style French horn, whatever. The only good thing that came out of marching band was knowing how to read and play music. And the best thing that came out of marching band was that's where I met my wife. Hottie back then, hottie now. On a side note, our boat's name was Randy. Yeah.